Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone, and this is NBA 2K22 on 2K Sports. We're back again for another NBA 2K22, and we only have two games to go before we head into the NBA play-in tournaments, plus the NBA playoffs, and of course, the finals of the NBA in between Eastern Conference of the winning team and the Western Conference winning team. And now, I decided to bring someone different here. Oh, yeah, I think there might be somebody who we'd like to bring back who haven't seen him in a long time. I know one, I think there might be a good, good idea. Today, I think the season might be showing off for our next support. Meet Fan. Welcome to the show, Fan. How does it feel now to be on here? Oh, it's been great so far. Oh, we got a nice game going on here. Huh, interesting. I've never seen something like that before. Huh, great, great to be here again. And always yours, too. So, who do you have your next matchup here? Oh, I got something going on. Here, I'll show it to you. I think this one might be a little bit more tougher than you think. But I think it might be easier for the other team to win the whole thing. I think the other one is going to be very, very tough. I like to call this one the Washington Wizards. And the other team, I think there might be another one to go for the head-to-head -head battle. The Dallas Mavericks. <laughs> you got that right. We have the better players, but it turned out to be anybody who really wants to try to take the game up to its courage and try to move things along right ahead. So, fan, join us with the game, and we will be seeing how his commentators can do a lot more things better than anything else in the whole game of our communication skills. This next one will be the next strength to give it another whirl in between the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference in between each team. Washington Wizards are not having a great season at that point. They might be losing the streak and they could be out in a playoff spot. And sometimes Dallas Mavericks is pushing their way into the playoff spot. So that's the only team that they always have played so much that they have. Here are the starting lineups for Washington Wizards. We have Raul Neto, Contavious Cardwell Pope has been transferred from Russell Westbrook, if you guys remembered it before, then Corey Kispert, Kyle Kuzma, and Krista Porzingis got transferred over into the other team from Dallas Mavericks, it looks like we gotta take it from here, fan. I think there's one player that might be transferred on that time from Dallas Mavericks and two players transferred, including the Sixers, Raul Neto, Contavious Cardwell Pope, and Kyle Kuzma. Except for Corey Kisper, he has never been playing here before. So, what do you think of his stats? Well, I think there might be a little bit more time. It just, it could be very difficult to see if we can find things out. Maybe Washington Wizards are going to have a hard time without Bradley Beal and John Wall. Yeah, that's totally correct. And we wouldn't expect to see somebody who would like to take over the world up. We might see how this well goes. And here's the starting lineups for Dallas Mavericks. Luka Doncic, Jalen Brunson, Reggie Bullock, Dorian Finney-Smith, and D.Y. Powell. Now, let's head you over to the American Airlines Center for the presentation of NBA. We are here at the American Airlines Center. As we already have noticed that Chris Stapp Porzingis is on a di tri different transfer to the upper team. And here is the Western Conference standings. Dallas able to push their way back into the playoff spot. And without the Wizards, they might be out for the season. Yeah, I also agree on that one. Dallas Mavericks are doing really well this season. And with some nice break out of Authentic, they might be pushing their way up a bit 
to hit their spot. And I totally agree with uh, me, Tone. It's definitely amazing. I can definitely tell that Mavericks are doing really well this season. Just turned out great. It might be hard luck on them. And that will be Wes Unsell Jr., the head coach so far, taking you from here, from this point of the angle. And we got Wizards winning the ball already as Wizards wins the tip off. We start now. A little bit of drive here for Neto. It doesn't really help out. But that's, uh, that's quite a little bit of a little bit more tempo and vacation. A little this uh, shocking disappointment out there. A little bit of bad uh, tip off here turned out to be for those teams. And the key matchup doesn't really able to take it from here. Because we may have another one to co by. And we're back on the court. Offense will be taking another look at the suggestion as they will try to pick it up from here. Here's Brunson. He hasn't scored anything yet, but he will be in his starting lineup. Oh! Did you see the ankle breaking? Oh, what a drive for Jalen Brunson. I did catch that. I did. I totally see that. That was a great play on Crentavious Cardwell Pope. What a breaking and to the point. Screen on Chris Stapp. Drive for Neto. That's number two in a row as this one takes the lead. Luka Donkids. The, one of the best players here since the Euro League, but he has played here before. What is your take here for this one here, Mipho? I, I understand that, that Luka Doncic really does that with a lot of his great effort and visibility. But when I think about him playing, I think he might be the, a legendary player to be in the Euro League. A step performance, he's like a top heavy player. Here's Bullock. Never got a chance to play with the Mavericks before. Smith, three ball that goes in there as Bullock takes the assist. What a great play here. Bullock with the pass and Dorian Biddy Smith. And, and great communication their skills. Has had a lot of chance here to beat them. Carmel Pope finds Kuzma. Neto for three. Three ball, no good for, for Neto. Luka Doncic going back the other way as this will be 5-4 lead for Mavericks. Bullock finds Brunson. Brunson switching back to Bullock with four minutes going by. Finney Smith cut in over Kuzma and that shot's good. That will be Finney Smith with the first bucket of two. Nice play here. Dorian Finney Smith really got it covered out there. But he might be doing it again. Oh, Kuzma slams one dunk. And that was Chris Porzingis' first assist of the game. What a great pass here. I would never see that one going by, but that was all it takes. Powell on Chris Stapp. And he goes inside. That will be Powell's first bucket of the game. Porzingis goes back the other way. Fans are a little disappointed with Kristaps Porzingis as he doesn't want to play with the, with the current team because of Russell Westbrook is traded to the other side. What is your take here for Kristaps Porzingis? Uh, my take for Kristaps Porzingis is it's, it's not it's not really that it's not really uh, that same. It's very complicated of how he has been playing here so far, and when his time comes in with Dubai. They really got to push their way pressure. And this may not be good enough for, for Dallas Mavericks to keep an eye on K KP. Because you know he was the best player here on the Mavericks side. They all are in complete shock right now. They might be disregarding here on the Wizards. Kuzma with the ball. KP with the screen. It denies. Kuzma takes it in there. And that will be another bucket for the Wizards. Kuzma's got it all here down under control. He really has a lot more effort on that ball. But he needs to get things closer. With two minutes in the first period, Fiddy Smith, Donkic up to Powell. Takes a step inside, makes the bucket, and it almost cut off with the uh, 
with a three second violation call. First timeout calls out by Washington. It will be one minute and 47 to play in the first period. It's 11 to eight runs. They are doing very good, fantastic here in this play. I think that's a great, great strategy run. Well done for those guys. I know that. This one does definitely turn out to be just like that. And ever before seen, they really had a lot of ability. Pretty soon, we're gonna make this one quick here to finish up with two games in this for this month. And then, next month in April, we will start off with the play in tournament games that we'll be facing us here for tonight. But yes, that's true, because that game is almost winding down. It's, it's almost coming. We are marching in to the postseason. I agree with you. It's going to be awesome. How exciting this is. So the play-in tournaments are going to be a match that's in between 9 verse 10 and 7 verse 8. The winner of that one will play against the first team on, the, on that side. The losing team will have to try to face with the last battle for the eighth seed. And with that, other teams will be eliminated. If you see the last video, go ahead and click the calling card down there. It'll, it'll be right up ahead here to check it out. Now, Dinwiddie passed to Kleba. Dinwiddie, up again, makes a shot. Dinwiddie's got his first bucket here at, after Kleba's assist. Kleba really had a lot of good time effort out there. And for, and for Spencer Dinwiddie, he really, he really agrees to this point. He decided to play with the maps. I'm sure. Oh, three-pointer. Aldiba makes a three-pointer as he ties the game up by 13. Here's Kleba. Kleba hasn't really gotten started off at this point yet, but he may need to find something out, out here. What is your take for Kleba, guys? Kleba, he's very trying to keep it hard, but I'm I'm pretty sure he can try to face things up a little bit. If he wants to get things better, I think that might be a good way to, to make it in handy. Might be, might be, might be a fair idea. With 30 seconds here, Cardwell Pope against Kleba. Runs it on him. Grant for three. No good, and that will be rebounded by Brown. Brown will have gotten his first rebound for Tons. Fates finds Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie rolls over to Brunson for three. Answers back. Brunson with the three ball. What a free ball this is. This turned out to be just like that. Free ball up. And that misses off the target. That ends the first quarter here. 18 to 13 score. A little uh, heavy have a playoff in between a challenge, but we'll be right back after this. Just getting in my weight room and living in there basically. Um, doing what I need to do and and then I'm gonna be twice a day in the basketball court as well, just working on everything, so and his working play here in off season definitely does turn out to be just like him. But now he might have it all covered out without playing with him, but I think it might be a very good idea to do for his offseason before he can practice it and get ready for the game. Second quarter has gone by after major turnover on Dallas. Rebounded by Cardwell Pope and it's taken back. And Eva trying to look around. Finds Hachimura and Bertans takes a steal. That will be the first turnover on Washington. Rolling over is Bertans. Bertans right to Brunson. Brunson to Kleba. Kleba trying to work her way around a bit. He goes in. And that's a miss by Dallas Mavericks. That's going to turn around the other way. Cardwell Pope trying to look clear. Smith. Fast back to Cardwell Pope. Drive. And that's good. That will be another bucket for Kleba. I'm sorry. Contavious Cardwell Pope. Contavious Carbo Pope, he really's got a lot of um, a lot of work to do. But I think 
if we see him playing on, on the court, we might have a problem if it turns out. Oh, what a rejection by, by the defensive player here on Wizards. For times, Mr. Mr. Pro couldn't be able to reject it. Bryant's got his first block of the night. I, I understand that Bertans really does that one, but he really hasn't picked it up any fouls yet. We're gonna have to watch carefully to keep an eye on. Bertans looking over, is trying to pick him up. Kleba in around. Fades, lost the ball, and it turned around the other way. Hachimura with the steal. And the attacker, that yeah, goes in there. And that will be another bucket for the Paytavius Cardwell Pope. Timeout call will be on Dallas with 3.57 left to go. And then right at this moment, the play in tournament schedules are as follows. There will be Lakers. The number nine seed taken out against the 10th seed of New Orleans Pelicans. This will be the first one, the battle in between the uh, in between the competitions. And it will have to be facing in for the eighth seed. The winner of nine and ten and a loss of seven and eight in between the runs of Eastern and Western Conference. Then it will be Timberwolves facing against the LA Clippers that will be playing here after the Eastern Conference game. Then followed along by the Hornets against the Hawks on the other side, and the Raptors against Brooklyn Nets. I always recall that one before since season four. I think there might be another chance to go from here. What do you guys think? Oh man, I, I don't know what to say. I think I think Raptors have gotten a good good score out there since the Nets are currently losing the uh, franchise players here, including one of the best ones that's still in the game, Kyrie Irving, Mr. Uncle Drew. If you call that one here, that might be a lot much better we have. What a three ball here for Dinwiddie as Luka Doncic takes the assist. Yeah, I know about that one. Yeah, I, I think that Raptors may have a have a solution here. The Canadian teams are very strong, and and, and they really did did work on their way as uh, best as they can. They tried it a lot. They done a great job. Just saying. What a tacker here, and Donkic got a rebound. Three ten remaining. Dinwiddie has the ball. Luka Donkic trying to look around. Donkic finds Finney Smith. Screen will be Powell. Oh, Finney Smith driving in the paint and he slammed the dunk. What a drive. I, I wonder, it looks like that was the best play for Finney Smith. What a play on a tackle. And again, Luka Donkic makes the assist. Another miss by Washington. Ronetta only has four and only taking one rebound this game. Powell finding Vinny Smith. Looks over to Luka Doncic. He fades, jumps up, and it misses off the range as Luka Doncic couldn't score the bucket. Here's Kuzma against Bullock. Screen, free ball. It's offshore and it hits the rim. With two minutes remaining for the first half, it's 23-17. Vinny Smith outside. Bullock, bounce pass to Powell. Stepping forward and he, oh! It looks like Neto got a ball. Another turnover on Mavericks. Kuzma outside and Didwitty. And it's Kispert. Kispert on Luka Doncic. Neto outside, six to shoot. Kristaps Porzingis, can he make the shot? And no good, that will be a miss here on Washington. Bullock, try to look clear. Oh, fade it! Donkic, steps in, that's good! Look at Donkic, what a shoot he has. He's turning out there fantastic. I really like his effort out there. 
I think he might be going to step into the playoffs and then help their team out. KP may helps the screen out by Kyle Kuzma. Kispert against Donkic. Kispert has to make the shot. And that's a bad target with the shot, and that's Powell with the with the rebound. Bullock outside with only 35 seconds to go. Bullock, Dinwiddie, right back to Powell. Up and overhead pass by Finney Smith. Oh, he knocked him out! Oh my goodness! Did you see that? Wow! Wow, I thought that almost turned to be an offensive foul. What, what is going on with him tonight? Uh, I don't know. It, it's really that kind of hard. I, I, this turned out to be just nothing already. There was no offensive foul. Man, I, I don't know what to say. This would have been an offensive foul already, but they did not release the call. KP missed the shot, and now we have approached halftime. It's 27 to 17. We'll be right back after this. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Coach Jason Kidd. Jason, how do you feel about your team's performance? I feel great. You know, we're sharing the ball, we're making extra pass, but we're attacking the paint, and if we can continue to do that, we'll just hit the seat. Jason, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Jason Kidd, head coach for the Mavericks. We'll be right back with you after this. And now, Let's have a look here of your first recap, first half of the game, of Mavericks and the Wizards. Taking you from the other side, let's see how it goes. Send you back onto the court. Welcome back to the American Airlines Center of the Mavericks and Wizards. We're ready to start the third quarter. And for most of us players, we're about to be all fueled up and we are ready to go. Luka Doncic and the other teams are ready to push their way up. No fouls yet for the first half, but let's find out if there's a foul going on in the second. Luka Doncic, oh man, what a start here for the second half, turning around the other way. Neto, first quarter. Doncic, third quarter. That's a tough shot, but I, I, I always regret that was going to be a very close call. But that turned out to be beauty. Kispert against Brunson, Neto for three. KP turns back in there and they're putting it back up by ten. KP, he really does that done so quite some time out there. He really does able to help him out with the players on offense and defense. But I don't think there might not be any choice if there we have seen something going on. Brunson, stepping in. Bates makes a shot. It's Brunson with another bucket. Brunson, really well done. Only seven points for this game, and it's only three on a four. I never seen something quite like this happening. Kipper will take the layup here and he will have the first bucket on the run. With about 40 31 to go here, here's Don Kitch. He hasn't really paid off his quiet momentum here and try to and try to look on attacker or the attacker. Yeah, I always agree here. I think his, uh, his attacker definitely helps him out there very good for the season. I think he might have it all what he had. If you look at that and has it all covered, I think I'm going to handle it off here too. That would be great to have a surprise on the lane. Right now, Dorian Finney-Smith will head to the free throw line after the foul is called by Kyle Kuzma for a first team foul on Washington, stopping the clock at 4.13 remaining. 
we never seen any fouls like this one before. I think this might be the only one. Let's give it a shot. First shot doesn't hit the club. And here's uh, new changes here coming in for Washington and Dallas Mavericks. As uh, four players are checking out, Brian Hachimura, Adiga, and Smith checked in. On the side of the team, Kleba and Brown are checked in. Sullivan Brown, he really does have a lot of encouragement. I think he might be playing here since he does not have any efforts here to take in for the other team here of uh, Milwaukee Bucks. I think he might be doing it very, very well. Oh, great pass here by Hachimura, and that will be that will be another uh, another great wild wild shirt on the run. But that may be turning out to be off on drive here with the first assist. Donkic rolling over to Brunson, jumping in inside and got it. That is another one for Brunson. He has nine. Nine points in counting so far. He's turning out great and surprising on the attacker. Brant inside, going right in the paint, and he scores it again. It will now be 34 25. Brant, you'd have to watch out for this guy. He's, he's coming in there fast. You know, every time you have it, you don't want to give up. Benny Smith, right to Donkic. Three ball, up, good! It's Donkic with the three balls. Benny Smith takes the assistant and they are rolling it up again. Kleba, great D, and that will be catching another rebound. That's three in a row. Best place here in defense so far. He's done a very good job. Inside Benny Smith. Rolling right to Donkic. Donkic attacks in, makes a shot. That's another bucket for Donkic. He is pulling it back in for the season. Nine points in count, tied up with the other player, Doc Bronson. Bronson and Donkic are doing really well. Best starters for the night. He really got it all. In, be in between the comparison rebounds, 13 rebounds for Dallas and 9 for the Washington Wizards. Didn't really have that one all, but he didn't catch it. Makes a good shot for Finney Smith at ES 12 in the lead. With under 2 minutes to go, Brad rolling the, a deep dog. With a scrub drive. And Smith will carry it from here. Call Cardwell Pope. Cardwell Pope making a smooth run. Next timeout calls out by Dallas Mavericks as Brant takes the assist. He really did. He really wanted to keep it same going so far. Every time when the player comes in there, he, he, you really don't want to make another defensive break yet. That will be a little bit hard here, and that's why. Most of the players really got it off. Jeff's like being ready to push things off. He's like dancing, ready for the playoff game. I really like his support. Really well done. So as we're being said, it looks like that March Madness has officially started. If you have not made your brackets yet or you have filled it in, then that means your time is up. And brackets are locked in. Yeah, we're not kidding at that point. Make sure you, if you have all everything down, that means it's about to start for the first round and second round of the game. So, who do you think will make it all the way? We'll find out later once the once the playoff game starts after the play-in tournaments. So here's Spencer Dinwiddie. He hasn't scored his second half, only seven points in the game. But we'll see how well he does for his third quarter. Dinwiddie, bounce pass is off, and it will keep the Mavericks ball alive. It was touched on Neto. And one more block here for Brant. 
he really had done it a better job out there. Yeah, I know. It really turns out for him. An excellent mobile one block. I think that Grant <laughs> has to like try to like keep it going out here as as strong as he can. He's doing really well. Gaffer will check in for Adipia. With a minute and 24, it's 41-27. Brunson will Harry carry the control. Finds Kleba. Fades. Oh, rejected off by Gaffer. They pass by Hachimura. And not this time. Brunson's got the ball. And tried to hold the defender on. What a great D here. You know? I didn't see that deep pass out there. How is he all the way at the end? I don't know what to say, but that's all there is. It turned out to be just like that. For time, pass to Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie up. Rebound by Brunson. Going back and got it. Got it in there for Brunson. That's 11 points in the game. What a play here. A lot of hustling rebounds. That will be another one to keep an eye on. Gafford up on the up on the top. <clears throat> Grant. Alan Gafford. Gafford has slammed the dunk. And they're trying to pick them. And they're trying to force the attack coming back in there. Dinwiddie. Looking over. Kleba. Bounce pass to Brown. Goes back to Dinwiddie. Rolling back to Brown. To step in. Fade off. Wow. Great play. That's a bad defenseman out there that turned out to be off and early. Wow, he got him very quick. What a play. Hachimura for three. And they will close it off the third quarter. That will be 45 to 29. Awesome effort out there. I think the fourth quarter can be a win for all for Mavericks if they take it from here. We played three quarters. Fourth quarter is coming up next after this. And let's have a quick look of review of the assist of a game presented by State Farm. We've got a good solution out there. I like to say that this is the best play. I really like to hear. Spencer Dinwiddie really has it all taken courage of his moment. And I really think that it turned out to be just like that. What a great play he did. And for Maxi Kluber, I think that was very good too. Got a good communication skills. I think they're all ready for ready to go back in for more playoff time. And they wanted to come back here and go for the win. Let's see how well he does. After KP with the missed shot, here's Brunson after a deep pass by Powell. Dinwiddie open shot. Oh yeah, you count that in there. Three-pointer, and Powell with the assist. He has 10. 10 points. Really turned out to be just like that. Dinwiddie on Neto. Missed again. And Neto put it back in there for the second time. That's, that's happening once before in between the players, but that should never let this happen to try to keep an eye on them. Bullock on Kuzma. Shot and that is in there. Chuck's gone in the net. Bullock has gotten his first bucket for tonight, and they are keeping it alive. Neto working with the screen. Double screen doesn't work that way. And Neto, another drive, turning around the other way after the first half. First half is really all had turned out. Better drive, and that's what he had done here before, just like he did. Powell, right to Bertans. 4.30 to play here for the fourth quarter. Dinwiddie finds Bullock. And Powell trying to reset it up. Bertans with the ball. Brunson going in. Got it! Brunson has got 13 points of the game. And they're putting a pressure on. 16 minutes on the court is not that bad. And a steal going up by Powell. Another turnover on Washington. Here's a one attack. Bullock, no problem. Bullock, looking very good. 
and returns with the assist. I think that's a great, great play. I like that. Without no alley you Pierce Kuzma finds Kispert. Screen will help out for the KP. Neto to KP, and he's got it in there. That's Neto with the assist, and they're trying to trying to make a comeback rally. Comeback rally is really extremely important because that really helps him out with the with the stand standalone along with a better uh, better place. And for this game, they really need to step up and try to put it back in there without Bradley Beal and John Wall, which is now in the Rockets. Can, couldn't be able to play in for the game. Powell right to Bullock. Bullock to Finney Smith. Moving the ball quickly for Mavericks. Powell up, and that will count it in there. Another bucket for Powell, and that will be number six. Points in the game. Neto and Donkic. Under three minutes left here in the fourth quarter. He took that cover. Dunkic still has it alive. Around Dunkic. Another miss by Washington and out of bounds. Oh man, I thought that Dunkic would have gotten that one, but that was very tough. Come on, man. I really know you could do better than that. Kuzma up. Great checked off. Heavy contest shot. Dunkic with a great D. Great D here so far. I really think there was no foul on Luka Doncic. I haven't seen any free throws yet for the Washington Wizards. Finney Smith trying to hustle around the board. And Finney Smith, will it go? No, he could not make it that in time. Kisper right back the other way. Neto with the ball. Trying to work our way around a bit. KP. Finds Kisper right back to Neto with two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Carvel Pope on Finney Smith. Neto up. And no good here. Neto missed again. It's now up. It's now Powell with the another rebound. Powell right back to Brunson. The rice to Donkic. Ron Neto. Oh, oh! Dunkage moves his way through with a spin attack and says, I'm coming in. There's no way I could definitely do that. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but that's a, like, a great play. And Kisper with the second bucket will take it from here. Dunkage is really awesome. Wow, what a hustle on the bustle. Benny Smith to Powell. Powell right to Brunson. Powell back. Back to Brunson. Try to work her way around a bit. Bullock up and through. Shot up. Shot's no good. That's another miss by Bullock. Under a minute left to go. It's 58-37. And it looks like that Dallas Mavericks is going to win it again. Without KP on the other team, they might be able to check off the course. And Luka Doncic, unbelievable. He's had gotten the blocks before. And it's a rim. Just about 30 seconds here. It's, it's still no score yet. Doncic passes to Vinny Smith. Back to Luka Doncic. Doncic moving out of the way is Brunson. And bad pass here. That will be Nello with the steal. Kispert inside. Rebound. Putting it back in for Kispert. Carvel Pope on Finney Smith. Kispert. Will not have time to make the shot, and the game is over. 58 to 37 is your final score, and the Mavericks are ready to push their way to the playoff spot. Playoff spot, here we go. Another play in time. That's how hard it gets. But the closing of this uh, ceremony, let's take you right over to DA. Thanks, Kevin. Luca, you played well and you got the win. So what made the difference? 
Yeah, I think we had a uh, had a great game. You know, we had a, I think it was a great game today. You know, we stepped up uh, together, played good defense. It was a great win. Thanks for your time, man. Appreciate it. Kevin, back to you. Tracy A. And with all that being said, I think Luka Doncic made a best performance with this team without KP, the traitor from the other team heading to the Washington Wizards and Russell Westbrook leaving the team. Kyle Kuzma and Contavious Cardinal both still in the game here for the Wizards. And now let's bring in your free stars player of the game. Starting with you, fan. You take it here first. Uh, I think that's a good idea. Thank you so much. Let's have a look here. Number three. We call that one here just a little bit off the straight up a hook of an iron. And without a netto, it doesn't really turn out that great because that wasn't even there. So it turns out that the only three top three players for Mavericks turned out to be here. Starting off, Luka Doncic with a great block. A first block of his game, 11 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, and it's just gone on heavy. Just a little bit more better than he had. What a play here, and the best player in the Euro League. That is totally correct. I always really think that it turns out great. Well, this skills to be. Let's take you over you, Mifong. Number 2. Number 2, wait, it goes for Dorian Finney-Smith. Just turned out to be 12 points ahead of it in the game. Two rebounds, one assist. It didn't really help that boy, but he really could have tried a little bit more better to make the free throw just a lot, much clearer uh, for this first shot. And a dunk, oh yeah, that's a great play. I like that one here too. It turns out very well. I like it. And your take, Son of Beast, let's take yours on number one. Number one, so to lead off, was Jalen Brunson. Only one turnover didn't seem to care, but only great points. 13 in a row, two rebounds, and one assist in this game. It really happened, haven't done anything, but his performance turned out to be just like an even run score where Dorian Finney-Smith used to spot at. How lucky is this? I can never be honest with you. It's all there is. And that being said, Thank you so much, fan, for joining to the game. You may head on back to the hotel to enjoy yourself with the amazing games and also watching some TV shows of competitors. Go support one of your uh, new team thinkers, and if you think that the other uh, team is doing really well, well, you don't have to worry about that one here. Just go uh, root for your team, new thinkers. And also talk to Cabby here, too. I will do. Thank you guys so much. I always appreciate you all. And to all you new viewers, see you all the next time. And for me said, me and me phone are also gone as well, so I'd like to thank you all for watching this video of Mavericks and the Wizards. As we approach here for the last game, join us for the last regular season game, as this will be the last one to cover it off here at Crypto.com Arena with a replacement of Staples Center. It will be the Pistons against the Clippers for LA. And don't miss that one out because they're also in the play-in tournaments in between 7 and 8. But that might be a lot harder to try to face it from here. So I'd like to thank you all for watching here. And until next time, peace out everyone for as a while as the NBA 2K22 dial. If you'd like to check out other games, you can go ahead and check it out every other seasons from this game. And this has been a presentation of the NBA 2K22 on Son of Beast. Check out other games that we did here before, and also including the NHL. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Good night in Dallas! Didn't you know? Somebody